While I'm doing this, I would like to show you guys how I have my uh, setup. Okay. Um, first, I have to get this fender off, which I will, and uh, I'll show you what's going on over there. Um, basically, I have my water and methanol injection lines coming off of my OEM um, filler tank for my windshield washing filler tank. And uh, so you could just fill it up just like you fill up, you know, before I pull this off, I want to show you. Hello. I use like this to do the holes. It's been like this for, I don't know, like a year, over a year, has not leaked one drip, okay, in over a year. Uh, and I use this because it was good. This was methanol. So now I'm putting my stock pump back in. I could have had both hooked up, but I I didn't. So I'm putting the st stock pump in here. So I got to find this rubber piece and uh, get that squared away. But this is pretty much just at a grommet. I came into here. This is how I connected to the methanol for my methanol injection. And it was over here, down over, and I went to the pump. The pump was mounted right here. Of course, I removed. And here's the inlet, which I'll show you how it goes into the tank. Um, I have it coming out here. And look what I have here. I have the. methanol pump right here. I have it set up right here. Right on one of these impact. Uh, right on the impact tube. So yeah, it's just mounted right here vertically. It goes in, comes out, comes across, down, up, and then wham. And then I have it switched right here in this coupler. I have a couple bungs where I have one bung where I'm spraying. I have my little uh, check valve right here. And then I have my switch where it's a basic switch. I don't have a flow sensor or anything. It's just basically on what boost I prefer. I have it on probably 15 PSI because it's at a safeguard. So uh, plus I have a big pH. I think it's a, well, it's, I don't know if it's the, it's a thousand cc it sprays. So I just, I think it's just over a thousand cc's, which is quite a bit uh, for just a safeguard. I should have had less than half the size of that. And then the methanol pumps a 300 PSI recirculating. So it's a pretty badass pump, uh, devil's own. So yeah, basically, Yeah, that's what's going on. So that's that's where a good spot to locate it is. It's low, it's uh, protected from the elements because it's behind the bumper cover. And uh, it worked out really, really good, but it's coming off this morning. And then that's gonna get the stock intercooler. I hate to do it, but you know, I'm selling it and uh, people just, you know, they, they, they want this, these goodies on here and, you know, they want to pay, they want to pay the price. They, you know, it's worth just as much, it's worth just as much, um, stock with these, with this type car. That's what I found. So it's coming off. It's going on my, my one series. I won't have to, I won't have to buy another intercooler for this. It'll save me some cash because I'm keeping this little one. 35 it's it's light I don't I don't need a four-door sedan so I, I barely drive this anymore now that I uh, got the 135 so plus I got plenty of other cars so I don't anyway yep yeah this is the intercooler so I wish I have two of them this one's going on the Z4 which they're they're identical. I just don't like to mix them up. And it's a six inch block. Um, I think the six inch is perfect because 
the the sevens you'll lose a little bit of uh, responsiveness. Uh, the six is right in between the two. It's uh, you could turn the car way up and uh, you won't compromise your responsiveness because uh, there's a lot of pressure drop with the seven. Not not a lot, but more than the six. The six is in the perfect medium. The five, you know, is great for daily driving. The five stepped, actually, I really like that five stepped. But um, I don't know. I mean, this six six inch core does the trick for me. It's a six inch straight. So. Yeah. All right, this is the difference in uh, intercooler size. This thing's a little longer, right? Obviously, it's way taller by a few inches, at least a couple. And then, boom. Just way more size to the whole entire deal it's about twice almost twice the size if you want to combine the inside uh, the cooling capacity so a lot better